This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Shashina Rola. As always, it is so great to have you with us. This is a busy travel period for Bahamians, but a recent national advisory from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs could create a challenge as handwritten passports are no longer permitted. While in Grand Bahama recently, the minister responsible gave an update on the work of this vital agency since this change took effect. Sean Davis Roll has our top story. Easter is a busy travel time and Bahamians traveling by boat or by plane this Easter season will not be able to do so without an essential official document called the e-passport. This after the Ministry of Foreign Affairs issued a passport advisory. Effective February 19th of this year, the general public was advised that all handwritten Bahamas passports would be cancelled, becoming null and void. All Bahamians in possession of those passports were further advised to immediately surrender them and obtain an electronic passport. Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigration, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, says since the advisory went into effect, the passport office in New Providence has seen a significant boost in applications. As for here on Grand Bahama, the minister says there has not been an increase in demand. However, if and when it does, officials here are up to the challenge. Well, I haven't heard of any specific problems in Grand Bahama as such with the demand. Um, there was a bit of a bump in Nassau, but, um, you know, we've been telling people for years now that you have to get rid of the passports. And uh, because uh, countries are not accepting them, what really, I, I had intended to leave it, um, and as people were forced themselves personally to uh, get rid of the passports or to surrender the passports by presenting themselves at various border points. Minister Mitchell reiterated what led to the decision to enforce a new advisory and the way ahead. What uh, forced the issue was the fact that you had this special flight going down to Trinidad. Uh, Bahamas Air was having a direct charter. One of our citizens had been detained the day before the charter by the Trinidadian authorities because the law does not permit a handwritten passport in Trinidad. Our honorary consul down there was able to negotiate with the Trinidadian government a one-time waiver, but that was not possible where you would have masses of people. So at that point, it became appropriate to do a formal announcement to formally cancel all of those handwritten passports, which would then force the issue. And the main uh, border crossing point, of course, is that between that of the United States and ourselves and all of those border points have been notified. And so it is no longer possible to use that passport going into the United States. Joan Davis Roll, ZNS Network News. In news from the crime beat, two suspects are hospitalized and the search is on for a third in connection with apparent, an apparent armed robbery last night. Police tell us that shortly before 10 p.m., officers were called to a home on Ludford Drive where three masked men armed with a firearm entered the home and robbed a mail of cash and a black Chevy Colorado truck. Officers spotted the stolen truck in the Midshipman and Churchill Road area. A chase ensued and one of the suspects was shot in the arm by police. That suspect and a second assailant who were also injured apprehended at that scene and are currently hospitalized in stable condition. The stolen vehicle was recovered and police retrieved a .45 pistol a camouflage mask and other property at the scene. Police are aggressively investigating this matter and are urging anyone with any information that can assist with this investigation to call the Central Detective Unit at 3503106 through 12 911 or your nearest police station. Meantime, police are continuing the probe into that double murder that occurred in the inner city community called The Ghetto on Monday. 57-year-old Noel Dilly Hamilton and 55-year-old Jacqueline Ambrister were shot to death. A third person, a female, was also shot. She is still detained in hospital in serious condition. Now, a motive for the deadly shooting is not known at this time. Police are asking anyone with information that could help bring closure to this case to come forward. Switching gears, a leading government agency bringing communities together as they strive to bridge the gap between the young and the young at heart. Unity was the focus of a fun event today on the grounds of the Pine Ridge Urban Renewal Center. John Davis Roll was there. 
Seniors here in Grand Bahama are being honored in a grand way, and it's all a part of initiative spearheaded by Urban Renewal 2.0. Urban Renewal 2.0 on Grand Bahama fostering a true spirit of unity this Easter season from our precious pearls who were in top form as they competed for the coveted top seniors egg and spoon title to the race for the most fit between staff of the various Urban Renewal centers competed in the walking race for the waste. Highlighting the community pride, this year's event also saw some friendly basketball competition between the Defense Force officers and a team out of Conley Club also known as the Ghetto. As with all Urban Renewal initiatives, Deputy Director of Urban Renewal on Grand Bahama was personally involved in the action. Michelle Rackley trading her stilettos and business attire for sportswear and a pair of tennis shoes as she promoted wholesome family fun. Yes, our mandate is to touch lives, to reach from beneath and pull up, to give a hands up and that is what we do. And today, you know, these seniors are so grateful because some of them just sit and wait for a little outing. So to get them out of the house and even just an atmosphere like this, to mingle and to mix, it makes their day. As you can see, the competition today is very, very stiff. You saw our seniors do the egg and the spoon race and that was a stiff one. And then we had another race by our staff members. That was a stiff one, but my race is coming up shortly. I will be participating today in short order. Reckley credits the support of an outstanding team along with the Defense Force and the police officers and making the day special. We have from East End to West End represented as a senior from even as far as Sweden ski here today. Um, and some of them haven't seen one another for a very long time. So it's also a great time of fellowship for most of them. It's important for our seniors to understand that the next generation is also here and present and is willing to take on the mantle that they've left behind for us. And the Royal Bahamas Defense Force is always seeking to ensure that persons know that we're here to guard, guard our heritage. Well, the police team is going to beat the Defense Force as usual. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. So you're going to leave it all on the court? Oh, well. Now you youngsters eat your heart out as Precious Pearl Ella Rollett of 8 Mile Rock captured top honors in some heated competition. Oh, I'm feeling good. For 73, I'm feeling good. I'm glad I win it because last time I didn't, so I appreciate it this time and thank God I win it. Congratulations, Ella Roll. Joan Davis Roll, ZNS Network News. She looks good for a 73-year-old. Well, stay with us. There's more news right after this.